Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Happy Saturday. We are doing a pick your team case. Jumbo edition of 2018 Bowman Baseball. Stuff has been hot, hot, hot. There it is. Pick your team six. Thanks for hanging with me on a Saturday. There's Bruce, who won the Angels in a spot random. There's Derek, last spot Mojo Marlins. There's everybody else. Thank you to everybody for getting into this break. Really appreciate it. Set that right there. Here is the case. Get relaxed, get settled in, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna be a long one. But the jumbo cases are nice. There's three autographs per box. I'll do a quick recap after every box so that when you're re-watching this thing, you can just fast forward to the end of each box. Eight. Eight's great. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. So the NFL draft in the books. Watching a little uh, NBA playoff basketball. Bucks at the Celtics. Celtics with the first half lead. So a lot of basketball left to be played. A lot of baseball going on today on this Saturday. Got a busy day, folks. Oh, sorry. Hit the mic. I'm sure that sounded terrible. <laughs> I hate when I do that. Um, I gotta have a mic that hangs down from the ceiling. So that my, my, my hands won't wildly hit that microphone. All right. Anyhow, box number one. Pick your team number six. We'll try to get some more of these cases, and when we do, it'll appear on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Final scores today, Mariners over the Indians, 12-4, Rangers beat the Blue Jays, 7-4, the Diamondbacks have won their ninth series in a row by winning the first two games of the series against the Nationals. They won tonight's game 4-3 uh, to three in extras, Cubby shutting out the Brew Crew, 3 to nothing. White Sox shutting out the Royals, 8 nothing. So Chicago shutting their opponents out. Got the Twins over the Reds, 3-1. to one. Braves over the Phillies, 4-1. to one. Dodgers in game one of a doubleheader beat the Giants, 15-6. to six. I think Walker Buehler might have gotten the win in that game. He made another start today. He looked great. And the Rays. In Boston, beat the Red Sox 12 to 6. Those are finals. We've got a bunch of other games that just are almost done, gonna be done, gonna be starting. The Dodgers doubleheader starts in about, the second game starts in about half an hour or so. There's Walker Bueller right there. Uh, he did get the W. He did get the W. It was kind of a crazy. Offensive outpouring. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. So we'll breeze through this paper. There's Greg Dykeman to 150. We'll sleeve that up in just a second. That goes to the A's. That'll be for EA. We'll top load all of these before they get shipped out, of course. Hayes asking, did the panda did real did he really? I know that Chris Stratton got chased from the game early, chased from the Giants game early. They're speaking of the Dodgers, there's DJ Peters. And so I know that and they had since they had a double header, they couldn't burn out their, their bullpen. There's DJ Peters for the Dodgers. That'll go to uh Jason Cox, who has my Dodgers. But I don't know if uh Am I putting the chrome in the wrong pile again? There you go. I don't know. We'll have to look up that box score in a second. Anyone else know offhand? Any Giants fans out there know offhand? That'd be great if he did. Look at highlights after this break, too. I wonder 
if the Dodgers could dare send Walker Buehler back down. A couple of good starts for him. I mean, they might just to preserve innings, but his innings count. He did. Hayes is saying that he pitched a perfect ninth. That's got to be a treat. I got. I got to see highlights of that. Joey Wentz uh, for Jared and the Braves. Purple Chrome, 234 out of 250 on that one. Late first round pick for the Braves. There's Otani Paper, which we'll also save. And Logan Allen to 125. Nice shimmer for the Padres. EA with that one. There's Rowdy Reed to 250 purple paper for the Nationals. That'll be for Shane. Delvin Perez purple paper to 250 for the Cardinals. That'll be who has the Redbirds? Dakota with the Redbirds. And there's Anthony Banda, rookie auto for the Diamondbacks. Joe P with that one. Although I don't think he's on the, wasn't he, he, he was in the uh, Steven Souza Jr. trade, right? some gold. Nice Fernando Tatis Jr. That card is gold. 11 out of 50. This is a big prospect for the Padres. That'll be going out to EA. There's more Otani paper. one jumbo in the books box two coming up oh here are the autographs right here so at the end of every box I'll try to show all the autos Yeah, D backs are are playing are certainly playing really well. This that was this is the Diamondbacks team that I was worried about last season, but I guess it's all it's all clicking you know it's all clicking this season. Rex's early World Series guess is Boston and Arizona. Patrick 
Patrick. Patrick, what are you saying, Patrick? <laughs> you speak in riddles. Box, boys and girls, three more autographs to go. In case you're wondering, and I know you are, we've pulled two, two Shohei Otani autographs. They were just base autos, not numbered, and they were from the same case many cases ago. see another one today maybe will Craig to 125 for the Pirates that'll go to Michael Gallucci and his Pirates oh look at this wow a printing plate nice Scott Kingery printing play for Corey K and the Phillies. Nice. One of one, black printing plate. Corey K, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Love it. Loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. And more Phillies, JoJo Romero for Corey K. Yeah, and Kingery is playing well for the Phillies right now. It's a good time to get that plate. I kind of wish it was autographed, but 168 out of 499. You get the JoJo Romero, though, Corey. Nice box for you thus far. I think what's unique with Kingery, I think Hayes might... Uh, Hayes might remember, or someone else might remember. Scott Kingery is a young dude, but he signed a really long-term contract through his arbitration years, which is generally kind of unique. It doesn't happen very often. Yeah, we are we are Paul Hutchins. We are we are looking for that Met player, Andres Jimenez, with the scribble auto. That's gonna go to uh, Carl if we pull one of those. Carl will be very excited to get that quality autograph. Uh, we are gonna send there he is. We are gonna send his autograph to the FBI handwriting analysis lab, Paul. That's something that we intend to do, just so we can really get a get a good read on him. It's a consistent scribble, so you gotta think it's not just arbitrary. All right, Jesus Lazardo, blue shimmer. That'll go to the A's. That is 54 out of 150 for Oakland, EA with the A's. EA with the A's. And nice, Eloy Jimenez, 57 out of 150, a player that the Cubs may regret trading. Atomic Refractor on that Bowman Sterling insert for the White Sox, Steve Blair. There you go, Steve. Man, Longoria looks weird in a Giants uniform. Just not used to that yet. And we've got for the Rockies, Colton Welker. Eric Rager with the Rocks. Nice Welker. Colton Lawrence Welker. I don't know if Lawrence is his middle name, but Lawrence. It's a Lawrence Welk reference. Everyone remembers Lawrence Welk.
Shohei Otani out of 499. I think this is the first paper parallel I've seen of Shohei Otani. Even though there's 499 of these out there in the world. So this is like a million dollars, right? Bruce, Bruce, who got the angels in his spot random, gets his $2 million Shohei Otani out of 499. It's gonna do well. Um, Patrick Goodwin thinks that we don't follow sports. He's letting us know that Otani hit a home run. That's yesterday's news. Unless he's playing today and hit one just a few moments ago. How much do I think that would actually go for? 100 bucks maybe? I don't know. Someone look that up. 100 bucks? 200 bucks? I mean, if just the regular paper base goes for like 10 to $15, you gotta think a parallel would go for a lot more. Price would increase exponentially on that. And the autograph is a little Dodger Joe Mojo. Kyber Ruiz. I'm just knocking over top loaders here. Kyber Ruiz. Blue. I like when the, the parallel matches the color of the team. Nice, a nice Dodger blue for Jason Cox. One of the big catching prospects coming up the rank. 001 out of 150. Yeah, that's why I thought. He, he has some sort of ankle thing, Otani. Patrick Goodwin was talking was talking about how Otani hit a home run last night. Tonight. Next thing you know, he's gonna let us someone should look this up. Next thing you know, he's gonna let us know that Baker Mayfield was drafted number one overall by the Browns. Is that the next bit of news for us, Patrick? Uh, Megan looked it up and she said the prices of that Otani are kind of all over the place, but some went for 200 bucks. There you go. That sounds about right to me. I think, I think anywhere from 100 to 200 dollars, I wouldn't complain. I wouldn't mind at all for, for that Otani paper. Patrick, you, you got to do better research, my friend. I don't, I don't think that was going to be twenty dollars. Bring us the real news, Patrick. Not the old news, and not the fake news. I'm sure someone could have gotten unlucky and ended up with twenty dollars on something like that, but. All right, so another, Megan saying another is at 100, one's at 74 on auction. So around 100, yeah, 100 sounds about right. 200 may have been when it was maybe one of the first ones on eBay, maybe. It went for two. You saw some new collect, some dude is saying, I saw some new collector pulled his out of 100 auto, and he said, is this good? And he wasn't being sarcastic. Maybe, I, I would assume that he is not a baseball fan then. <laughs> and he doesn't like baseball and doesn't know the hobby. Uh, that would be my assumption. Or his attempt at humor just failed. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, we do well Patrick, we, we know what the paper base goes for. We were asking about that of four ninety nine, which we have not seen yet in any of our breaks, which is I thought we would have seen a parallel by now, but Michael Mercado, Ray's autograph going to Karen with the Rays. There you go, Karen. On the board. Uh, I have not seen any Royals yet, Brett. There's Fernando Tatis Jr., Purple Chrome out of 250. That's a strong one for EA. And the Padres. Although I think Brent Culper has the uh, has the Royals in this one. 113 out of 125, Delvin Perez. That's the chrome parallel for the Cardinals. That'll be for Dakota and the Redbirds. We'll set the parallels aside on the left side. And there's Eric Pardino for the Blue Jays. Jason Cox with the Blue Jays. This is an interesting one. He is from, uh, I think he is a Brazilian international, if I'm not mistaken. Signed when he was really young, 16, I think, and 431 and 49. This could be, could be a int very interesting one to hold on to. May even have some solid value now. All right, looking for one more autograph out of the box. Stack this paper this high? Is that dangerous? I don't know. I'll, I'll live on the edge, stacking the paper base as high as it's stacked now. It's almost at, it's almost at right here. All right, onwards. Looking for one more auto from this box. Will it be this one? No, this one? Nope. Mike Soroka, so Soroka, out of 499. I thought I missed. Did I miss an Otani? No, that's Jack Flaherty. Sorry, Jack Flaherty. That's refractor for the Braves. It's going to head out to Jared and the Bravos. Nick Prado for the Royals, speaking of the Royals. 305 out of 499. 14th overall pick. Big first rounder. Royals do, I don't know if you guys saw that talent pipeline card that I kind of flew by, but they've got they've got some guys coming up the ranks, the Royals. And Khalil Lee. MJ Melendez could be the future Salvador Perez. We should do a player break of this. You know, we if we had more cases, we we would have considered it. I think we did we did something like that a couple of years ago, two or three years ago. We did a player break, and we sold all the players. There's Dennis Santana, Dodger Joe Mojo, more for Jason. Uh, and we did a player break of it. It was pretty wild. I think it was like ten or fifteen cases, sold all the players on eBay. It was a fun break.
I think we kind of we kind of decided to keep it simple this year. All right. So nice few autographs there. Dude is saying big hit in this box. I'm calling it. And what happens if there's no big hit in this box? What what is your what is your punishment? There's gotta there's gotta be a consequence. Otherwise anyone can just call big hits with with no consequence. And eventually the, something a big hit will pop out and I'll be like, yep, got it, nailed it. I feel like there has to be there has to be something that uh, that happens to you. Like I could, I could be like, oh yeah, Bucks are gonna win this game, right? But that's just talk. That's just talk. But I actually put put pennies down on the Bucks to win this game. I put my money where my mouth is. <laughs> Jaden says ten whippings. Yeah, we'll we'll go we'll go Singapore style. We'll, we'll go canings. I feel like we could. I feel like we could do something. What if we did like a? I don't know. Maybe we we could do some sort of pool or something. Or like, let's say for example, let's say for example, dude says, you know, for 50 cents, I'll call a big hit in this box. And obviously if he doesn't get it, we'll have to figure it out. If he doesn't get it, then the 50 cents goes into the big, into a pot. And that just, pot just keeps growing until someone actually gets the big hit and then we'll get the whole pot. That'd be fun for a long break like this. <laughs> Maybe next year, try to work that out. Oh, wow, Hunter Green. The Under Armour All-American Baseball card. Autograph and numbered. It's right on the logo of that step and repeat back there. 148 out of 199. Nice. That goes to the Reds. That's a strong one right there. And out of 150, Hunter Green. Man, remember when Dude took back that big hit call that he had? Could have won the pot. Uh, EA with the Reds, you are welcome, sir. That's a nice hit. And you got the Atomic Refractor, too. Hunter Green, Southern California boy. Went to high school at Notre Dame High School. There's Adonis out of 125 for the Phillies. We met him at the uh, Topps Industry Conference, which was a cool thing that Topps organized. Nice dude, well spoken. Everyone says he's supposed to be, well, that he has the athletic ability, but he has the uh, mental makeup to be a star and to shoulder the burden of being a star. That could be the future for the Reds. He's a two way player, but I don't think they're going to let him keep doing the two way thing. Trevor Rogers out of 499. I think I was reading the scouting report, and that goes to the Marlins. That goes to Derek P. Trevor Rogers one hit the Dodgers for like six or seven innings the other day. Um, I don't know if that's an accomplishment or not. Actually, no. The Dodgers pounded out 15 runs against the against the Giants today. It's it's, it's a good feat. Mike Sharwin. Scouting report on Hunter Green to finish that thought. 
They said he's so good that um, that he would have been a, t a high first rounder as a pitcher. And even if he was only a shortstop, he would have still been like a mid to low first rounder. I mean, kind of, kind of do both. This guy's my birthday. Plays piano and saxophone. See, look at all this information you're getting. Oh, dude, I was saying that 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 you should have put money on on a big hit coming out, but you didn't. You took it back. You said big hit in this box. I'm calling it. Then a minute later, you said then I didn't call it. You walked it back. And you got scared. Scared sorcery don't make sorcery. That's all. That's something we say all the time here. Scared sorcery don't make sorcery. I was gonna say you should you should have put some money to back up your state your statement. You should give given me odds. And there's Sean Murphy. Sean Murphy. For the A's, Athletics going to EA. TJ, what's going on, man? You're always scared of your bank account being emptied out. Glad you asked me, Hobbyland. Man. The danger, it's danger of us. All right, so those are well. I don't know. Is that is that is that a bonus auto? That all Mary is that a bonus auto? Is that part of the three that come out of each jumbo box? I guess we'll find out. Jaden's asking Joe, how much does a jersey number card help the price? By about seventeen point two five percent. That's how much it helps. I actually have no idea. It does help, but obviously it'll depend on who the player is and all that. Like if you got Jordan Humphrey's autograph number to 10 out of 50, it wouldn't really matter as much because nobody knows who the hell Jordan Humphreys is right now. 202 out of 499. Really, it's still, I think obviously the player We'll still determine that, but it only helps with, I think, you know, with the with the bigger names. For the smaller names, I think it'd be it's a much smaller boost, I think. Oh wow, another autograph. Jaron Kendall. Twenty eight out of fifty. This one's a Bowman Scouts top one hundred autograph. Jason Cox having a nice break with the Dodgers. So now there's four autographs in this. So there's your bonus auto. Yeah, Jaron Kendall, Dodgers first round pick, supposed to be supposed to be the real deal, Holy Field. Supposed to be Holy Field. Alright, halfway through the break, folks. Like the Bon Jovi song, we are halfway there. Some people without hits still living on a prayer. But you know, a lot of autographs to go. Three per box. Four boxes to go, so still opportunities for that. And, of course. Uh, parallels. Where's my cup? My coffee's over there. All right. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. Let's get re comfortable again at halftime. All right. You totally believe that 
No, I honestly don't know. It, 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 the, the jersey number um, will give you a boost, but it'll still, it'll still depend mostly on the, the player itself. And I think it also depends on. I don't know if, if, if having a jersey number card is like universally acclaimed, you know what I mean? Like maybe some people are like, eh, I don't care. <laughs> Vanilla Gorilla, Mike Bobby's asking, Joe, can you believe the Yankees are beating the Angels 10 to nothing? Yeah, I can believe that. Have you seen their lineup? You know, when you have a lineup with Gary Sanchez and Didi Gregorius and Aaron Judge and and Miguel Andujar and Gliber Torres and Giancarlo Stanton and I'm surprised it's not more. I'm surprised they're not doing that every night. And I think T Tanaka's pitching tonight. I think he has he's been pitching had a has strung together a few good starts. So yeah, I can believe it. Next box. Corbin Burns for the Brew Crew. Dude wants us to do a top 10 hits of the month again. Nah. <laughs> Takes a lot of time. You want to do You should do one for us. How about that? You pick your top 10 favorite hits from Jaspie's Hobbyland and post that. Let people know. I mean, people let you know what they think about what their favorite hits are. Fan-generated content, dude. How about that? Businesses do that all the time. Try to get other people to do free work for them. Good old fan-generated content. I know, we should have some sort of contest associated with that. Forrest Whitley to 250. Kind of looks like Ken Griffey Jr. for like as I was fly, flashing by the card, I was like, is that the kid? Uh, King D with the Astros, the purple paper. And Mitch Keller to four ninety nine. That goes to Michael Gallucci and his Pirates. There's Otani. Is that the best shot they got of Alex Verdugo? Everyone else, you get to see like their face pretty clearly. It's like, oh, this is the best picture they had. They're like, ah. Did we get more of those Alex Verdugo pictures? See all the pictures? That you can at least see a good chunk of their face, except for that one, I guess. Like, oh, the, the Verdugo guy didn't send, didn't send additional pictures. Damn it. Well, we're gonna have to go with that one. There's Logan Allen. For the Padres, EA. EA Sports is in the game. Logan Allen autograph. There's Will Myers for the Padres out of 499. Also goes to Eric.
And there's Harrison Bader to 499. Refractor autograph. Rookie auto. For the Cardinals, Dakota with the Redbirds. Is he, I think he's having a decent season. Getting some regular playing time at least. Ooh, some gold. Nick Solak. 24 out of 50. That card is gold for Jason and the Yankees. Nice. Last bit right here. We've got our three autographs, so unless there's a bonus, we're just looking for parallels at this point, lower number parallels. There's Jojo Romero out of 499 for the Phillies. And that is that for this box. Three to go, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, TJ. Get back, JoJo. Get back to where you once belong. All right. Good luck, everybody. Three boxes to go. We are on the home stretch now. This is Pick Your Team at number six from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Let's show a paper base already. We'll set that right there. Third to the last box. Good luck, everybody. Sam Hilliard to 499. That goes to the Rockies. That'll be for Eric. And the Otani, of course, for Bruce. Derek Hall is your Phillies autograph going to Corey K. You can fill the entire uh, canvas, Derek Hall. That's okay.
Jason Martin to Jose Barrios out of 150 for the Twins. Should be two more autographs, what we're looking for. There's the Raphael Devers autograph. Nice. Chris Torres. Red Sox. Nice Raphael Devers rookie auto. That's strong. Barrios will go to Jason and the Twins. And from one Jason to Jason, Martin out of 499 for Michael Gallucci and his Pirates. Tani there. And Adbert Alzole. Nice one for Mike Koontz and the Cubs. It's a nice one too. Had a great debut this year. Check out that box score, Mike. It's a good one. Jose Trevino, purple chrome 250, and on to the second to last box. few autographs out of this box. Next one. Good luck everybody. A final in Miami, the Marlins, I think with their eighth win of the season now, Marlins are beat the Rockies four to one in Miami. Any other final scores? I think we already went through all the other final scores. Games in progress. Pittsburgh Pirates leading the Cardinals five to two in the bottom of the eighth in Pittsburgh. In Baltimore. The Orioles are down. The Tigers are losing 5-8. Tigers are leading 8-5. Top of the eighth. Houston 
Houston putting the hurt. Uh, there are a couple. There are a few games with crooked numbers here. First off, the Royals are leading the White Sox uh, four to one. Bottom of the seventh. Um, oh, that's a double header too. That's the second game. But the Astros in Houston are leading the A's ten to nothing in the bottom of the eighth. In the bottom of the fourth, the Padres have already put 11 runs on the Mets. What, a, what was going on there in San Diego? 11 runs. And uh, as we were discussing a little bit before, in the bottom of the third, the Yankees already 10-0 on the Angels. So some explosions of offense in Houston, San Diego, and here in L.A. Third to last box. Second to last box, that is. We just finished the third to last box. Second to last box. Good luck. Ronald Acuna, the legend of Ronald Acuna growing. Travis Lakins, 74 out of 150 for the Red Sox. And Jordan Humphreys, Bowman first autograph. For the Metropolitans, that'll be for Carl. There you go, Carl. 52 out of 250 on that purple chrome autograph. Nice. Carl on the board with an auto. Will Smith, the fresh Prince of Bel Air, out of 125 for the Dodgers and Jason Cox. There you go, Jason. West Philadelphia, born and raised. And down the hatch, Thomas Hatch. Autograph for the Cubbies. That'll be for Mike Kuntz and the Cubs. Just a regular base auto. Otani paper. Elvis Ekman, what's going on, Elvis? The Otani tally? Dozens of Otani paper base. Only two autographs. We haven't seen one since we pulled two from the same case, which was kind of a, a stunner. Pulled a paper parallel to 499 today, though. In this case, it'll probably go for about 100 bucks. To four ninety nine, we'll go for a hundred dollars. Two hundred if you're lucky. Marcos Molina, one seventy eight out of two fifty, purple paper. Even those paper still selling for. What, 10 bucks, 15 bucks? There's Rugnet Odor out of 499.
and Jaron Kendall. And Dodgers having a very nice break. A little of that Dodger Joe mojo going to Jason Cox. All sorts of great autos in this one. 129 out of 499. Dodgers first round pick last year, 23rd overall. Continuing to add to that strong Dodgers farm system. And that's the end of that box. Last box coming up. You made it. David Shaw with that Rubenet Odor. All right, final box. What's up, GAC? Oh yeah, I think the jumbos have a feel like I feel like they have a lot more Scout 100 cards in here, and they always collect them together. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. You pick your team six. Uh, I don't know what is going to happen after this. I don't think you don't you didn't have a break filled up after this. So, and I see zero orders coming in. So. I guess nothing's going on after this. Not yet, anyway. We can uh, run back some, uh, run back that final hockey break. I've that, in fact, in that corner right over there, and that's Upper Deck Ice Hockey. That's our final five box break. Random team number four. We can do some Prism World Cup. That just came out yesterday. And I think Tribute Baseball is even inching closer and closer to filling. The Angels are already. Uh, Already sold. Someone bought them straight up. So they're, they are already sold. And that break is ready to go. So we can make that happen. So check it out, folks. JaspiesHobbyLand.com. Good luck, boys and girls. Last box. Cross those fingers. Get that lucky rabbit's foot. Find those four leaf clovers. Let's see what we got. Three more autographs in here. No, that's Eric Lauer, though. Purple Chrome out of 250. I don't know if any relation to Matt Lauer. EA. Look that up some other day. First rounder, late first rounder from 2016. Another Otani paper for Bruce. No auto yet. Should be coming up. So there it is. Zach Littell for the Twins. That goes to Jason. With the Zach Littell autograph. Not numbered. And then we've got... Miguel Angel Sierra, 69 out of 75. Nice parallel for the Strohs. That'll be for King D. There you go, Doran. So 
The Celtics have won the series. There's Pedro Avila for EA and the Padres out of 499. You're welcome, Jason. Still two more autographs to go. There it is, Eric Pardino for the Blue Jays, Jason. Nice. The Brazilian prospect. One more autograph to go. I don't know if that card is gold. Is that, that, that out of 75 is not gold? It, there's like a, a lime greenish color to it. That card is, that card is avocado. This card is gold. Brandon McKay. Gold shimmer. That's a nice way to end it. Karen with the Rays. Nice. It's another potential two-way player. 34 out of 50. First round, fourth overall pick. Bam. There's your third and final autograph. Is it called is it called canary yellow? Is that really what they call it out of 75? Marcelo Zuna out of 250 purple paper. That's Cardinals edition. For the Redbirds, that'll go to Dakota. Let's see if there's any parallels. Oh, they, apparently they call it canary gold, the out of 75s. Or canary yellow, that is. All right, and there we have it, folks. Force Whitley to close things out. That was a eight-box jumbo break of 2018 Bowman Baseball from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. And we'll see you next time right there. Bye-bye.